Hey guys, so I had a request to uh, show you how to patch in Guider, I believe it's called. So, um, I think you can do it in um, Ida Pro, but um, I'd prefer to do it in uh, Guider. Um, but to do it in Ida Pro, I believe we just like highlight, say this, and then we can come up to Edit and go Patch Program and then go assembly and we can change where it's jumping to um, I don't use this method, I don't know how reliable it is so let's just use the other method hey. so anyhow um, let's get into it, so essentially what you have to do is as long as the file is um, the user.cod file is in the uh, program directory file where multi PSK is and it contains uh, the right amount of things uh, we can just jump from this location uh, in this code here down to uh, here so you just essentially set the jump address to this which happens to be um, 005229F6 uh, so as soon as it hits that we're gonna go jump straight down to here uh, and so here we've got a jump if zero I believe yeah so we just do jump so then it just regardless of if it's zero or not zero it'll go down there but it's us I believe us you still need the file um, for some there must be something else going on in this latest update um, but we'll get into that in a second just before we get, do that um, so I think I've said this before, but this is where the input that we have in our file gets XORed with a list. Um, not this one, it's a different function. So it um, XORs the values we input with set values that are hard coded in, and it does that twice. Um, and then once it comes down to this side, it grabs uh, specific elements from our string and then does some checks on those and then gets us back up to here uh, and then gets us diverted back down to this side of the code um, so I'll work on that over the next uh, couple of weeks but I'm quite busy at work at the moment so I thought I'd quickly jump on in my lunch break to do this video um, and then get back to work so anyhow let's get to it um, wherever it's gone, here, uh, you can't see that, you can see it now, so I'm going to go ahead and open up Gaudra, and then um, I think I have a backup here somewhere, uh, this one, where we go, debug, debug him, don't worry about any of that other stuff. Um, would you like to analyze it now? Yes, may as well. Yes, okay. So, now all we need to do is find, it's a bit harder to navigate this program, but we come back up to the top of here and we got this address. So in here, we can then just go into functions. No, not functions. Export, no import. Okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, okay, it's just populating still. Uh, so then there, so we're going to go to 005, uh, 0522. So the first one, and then it's going to be 227622, two, and then here 760. We're now at the code that we wanted. So that's like a representation of what it all does but we want to come down to here until we get to this jump of zero boom so that needs to be changed to we'll just double check a87 yep so that's the one so we need to change it to this address here which is going to be that seven six no nine f6 so come back to here and then we're going to go highlight him, right, no, 
edit somewhere here. I only just did this and now I've forgotten where it is. Come on. Uh, no, it's right click, I swear. Um, and then we need to do now file. Edit. Maybe we just got to wait for it to finish doing its thing. Tools. No. Okay. We'll just wait for it to do its thing. Right, let's move it up a bit so we can see it. Might be missing it. Patch. Here we go. Found it. So that was a waste of time, wasn't it? So yeah, this instruction here, we're going to right click on him and go to patch instruction. And it's going to do this little ching chong. And then we're going to change this to, uh, I can't remember, so we'll go back and check, 9F6, which is it's just displayed there, uh, 9F6. Oh, that didn't work. Somewhere else is it? Nope gone out of it. 9F6. Oh, we forgot to do that. Uh, modify patch instruction. We're just going to do a jump. But that didn't save. Didn't do any of it. There we go. Now it's patched. So if you go file, export program, uh, we're going to change this one to, I guess, um, new patch because I've already done it. And we're going to save it as a PE. OK. Done. <clears throat> and then we need to go to our multi PSK folder close on this stuff down and then get our, that's him there and then once we open that if all went well it should be patched once it opens there we go she's patched you can tell straight away but it doesn't say freeware anymore they're 4.48.2 your TX screen all open straight onto ADSB. Whoa, whoa, sorry about that. Blew up your eardrums. Uh, anyway, yeah, you get the picture. Let's stop that. It hurts my ears. There we go. Um, yeah. So that's pretty much it. Um, no idea why it crashed in. That could be something to do with the new patch. I wasn't doing that the other night, so probably just my radio or something. But yeah, there you go. So please like and subscribe <laughs> if you like my videos. And yeah, request anything that you would want to learn or look at, and um, we can do that. So yeah, peace out, fellas and ladies. Catch us all next time.